It's time to pick up the ballroom simulacrum. I have other things I want to buy and test first, but this, I need this in my life. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yes. That, they should have, they were just changing the simulacrum to be this. But instead, they threw it behind the event. I don't want it behind the event. I want it to be its own thing. Now I need to go back in and make more credits. Now, I am very, very interested on seeing how this works over the simulacrum that you have. For a lot of different reasons, which all of them pretty much mean having to go to a relay. Uh, let's go to Earth. Any relay will do for this. It's the simulacrum. It all works the same for the simulacrum. I keep forgetting uh, it's downstairs, but it would take too long, so fast travel, Cephalon Samaras. Of course, if you are new to this and you don't already have it, the simulacrum is a key you get for now 50,000 standing from Cephalon Samaras in the relays. Means you have to do his hunts, scan objects using his uh, synthesis scanner which you can make an unlimited one using the widgets. Uh, that one. Recharges the scanner means you basically have a free scanner. You don't have to buy any more. Lots of these all work towards getting that, but the simulacrum key will allow you to enter this. Now, enter the simulacrum. It does literally give you a diff You can choose the Citadel simulacrum or the ballroom simulacrum which we have to come in and have a look at because this thing was supposed to be really good and it should have rip wow it is actually real it's too dark the corners are way too dark in this that is when you get over there it's near enough pitch black that's insane but they, this was going to replace the simulacrum and hiding it or putting it, not hiding it, it's not hidden, putting it behind an event is annoying. The reason that everybody was looking forward to this, however, is because no holes in the floor. Enemies cannot fall off. They might be able to run and hide behind things. That's about it. There's no holes that can't fall off. This is great. It also give, still gives you a few advantage points, but not really as many. That This will do for testing snipers and such things like that. Kind of glad that this is here. If this wasn't here, would actually be really annoyed. Uh, guessing you cannot get out of here. Let me, let me, let me, hit it when that happens. We'll have to try, just for the sake of trying. Nope, invisible ceiling. Now to spawn the enemies. On the normal simulacrum, they spawn some in front of you and some to each side. Because this technically does have sides to it, I'm hoping that they're still going to spawn and they do. Yeah, I spawned them before and had to kill. Kill, had to hit kill, but yay, they all spawn in the same place now, rather than spawning. Yeah, also, you can't just stand on the pillars, you can also stand on... Either Gora's head or... Hmm... I want to save Rook's head. I can't remember who I'm standing on at the moment. But with them all being in the same place, you can test the ra explosive range of weaponry. Why? How are you still alive? Thank you. Yeah, that is... You can actually see that one's taking damage. That one hasn't. That one's taking damage, that one's taking less, that one's taking less, that one's taking less, that one's taking some, that's taking some. You can, <laughs> that's great for testing weapons like this, which have an explosive range to it. But not one of the better things this can be used for. There are many different things this can be used for that I'm kind of going to like a lot. Like you can see the spread of the nucor between enemies. If I hit the one in the middle, why are you not hitting all the enemies you were hitting before? Eh, weird. But, there's one last thing I want to do in here before we do anything else. Hit simulate and touch the floor. Boop. Now they can get to me, they're all moving. 
As soon as <laughs> I'm going to drag you all around. Melee enemies that cannot get to you, what will they do when you jump back up there? That has already been answered. Um, amongst other things, um, it seems to only be able to handle the AI of four melee enemies. That's the still move, but stand up here and... Uh, stopped. Oh, one decided it was going to have a go. Uh, the rest of them have all come to a complete stop. Some of these haven't even moved yet. That's kind of weird. It only seems to be able to handle the AI of a fixed amount of enemies. Hmm. You can see there's two still... There's a, uh, um, hmm. I know this has nothing to do with the actual room whatsoever, but I want to land right here and see how many of you actually move. I am within range of all of them, and there is... Uh, you. Can I get away from you before you start to follow me? Oh, what the... I was over there. Okay, anyway. Jump back up here. I can't get to you so they won't move. The two rows at the end didn't even move. There was... What's that? Four... That, there's eight enemies there. And some reason one down here that... Yeah, you can go away. I just don't like the fact that... I like the way that it works to get in here. You need to choose between the two. I don't like the fact that it's hidden behind a, an event that may disappear in a month and never come back. Hopefully this is a place that will come back because uh, if not, they're going to have to add a different way to be able to obtain this simulacrum because this simulacrum is actually... Thank you. Yes. I've got mine as zoom on this, so don't ask. But this simulacrum is actually pretty nice, and no holes. It's the no... I was really looking forward to this. It really didn't disappoint. It was just the behaviour of their melee enemies not all activating at once that was kind of weird. But anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.